hi guys welcome back to my channel quantum to my chain so for today's story time okay it actually happened a few weeks ago but before we get started you guys already know the drill hit the subscribe button down below it's free turn the notification bell on so you can get notified every single time i upload a new video and don't forget to follow me on my social media platforms instagram twitter snapchat and tiktok the link will be in the description box down below for your convenience and yeah you guys let's talk about it okay so a big influencer instagram model right tried to threaten me and tried to tell me to put a video that i posted down since you know it was about her and stuff like that but the way she went about it right the way she went about it wasn't the right way i could have put it down because it's an old video so it was around the era where it was the chris and queen videos that was going viral you know where chris was allegedly cheating on queen and one of the girls he was cheating on queen allegedly with um was a big topic because apparently she was like a minor and all those things if you guys remember that time the video is still on my channel but what happened is this girl first of all commented on my video right so she commented on my video that i made of her and chris scandals and stuff like that because she was the girl like i said allegedly that chris was cheating on queen with it was her and her friend now i don't know if they're friends or not so i get a comment i go and click on it and i see that it's from her i see her name right because her name is also on that title she ended up sending me a dm on instagram so in my head i'm like first of all you had enough time to watch the video find the video first right find the video watch the video comment on the video then find my instagram and dm your instagram okay so she says hi there's a video you made of me on YouTube can you take it down please she sent me both the videos she want me to take down so I said hey without disrespect I cannot just delete those videos especially since they are monetized we can figure out something together so I can delete it let me know what you think okay so before I even send this message right I hit up two people that I'm really close to one here on YouTube she's also like a youtuber and I also hit up one of my friends, like my real life friend. She's not on social media because I wanted to hear both their perspective. And both of them was like, you can talk to her and see if you guys can work something out. Because at the end of the day, even though that video was done like years ago, some people still do not know to this day. Like you'll be surprised, but some people to this day do not know what really went on between Chris and Queen and stuff like that. So it's like, work something out with her and then delete the videos. Like honestly, if she have being nicer because you guys will understand where everything went left if she had been nicer i could have been like all right like let me just go ahead and delete the videos but she was like hi are they still getting views it's been four years i didn't think it was still relevant also is defamation of character pause first of all it is not defamation of character that was the first thing i did not like and I say yes they are to say yes they are still making views and in response to her saying it was the formation of character I was like no it's definitely not it's freedom of speech because every single thing I posted on my video literally was already on the internet I literally just reacted to it and gave my two cent like I said freedom of speech it's not like I went and look for this information like you made a video of saying how he you he made you fall for him and this that the third I literally felt bad for her and I talked about it and gave my two cents in the whole situation it was not something I made up it was not something I went looking for so baby it wasn't the formation of character so she was like yeah girl I nicely asked you to take it down it's also considered cyberbullying I'm trying to move on from my past I was like it is not but since you do not want to work something out oh well and I was like I wanted to be nice about it and say let's work something out so I can remove it but instead of asking how can we work something out you want to use the defamation and cyber bullying so I was like go ahead and ask all the other youtubers that have talked about the situation to erase their videos because no one asked you to come on a public platform and post a video of you talking about it should have, have happened to you like you did not have to come and talk about it so many so many celebrities so many influencers get talked about and they just leave it alone right so you did not have to talk about it so she chose to come on a public platform which i'm low-key high-key thinking she was also cloud chasing because at that time she wasn't known 
Okay? Which I also told her that. And she was like, I understand you don't want to have sympathy towards me over this situation. But the whole point is for me to move from my past. That mess I was involved in four years ago. I've asked others to delete it and they have done it. And I said, actually, they have not. Because I went on YouTube and I saw multiple videos about that topic still up there. So I'm like, really? And then she was like, what is it that you will need to work out? So you guys know I'm very transparent. So when I said work something out... It was literally for her to just give me a shout out because I will be losing views, right? Which is potential subscribers as well. So you giving my YouTube channel a shout out was literally going to help me gain a few subscribers and a few viewers and the video was going to be down. Like, honestly, it wasn't, gonna, it wasn't something like a blackmail or anything like that. Like, yo, I'm not like that at all. Like, blackmail, that's not my character, you know? So in my head, it's like, I'm trying to work something out with you. But you are trying to make it seem like I'm bullying you. I'm a bad person, which I hate. Because I know myself, right? I know I'm not a bad person. So when someone trying to make me feel that way, like I just can't take it. So she started telling me that, oh, I see that, you know, you have to talk about me to have views. And after that, y'all, I was over the whole working something out at this point. Because it's like, now, you want to tell me that the reason why I'm getting views on my channel is because of that video. Now you know you're lying. Now you know you're lying. You know you're pushing it. Because at the end of the day, I told her, I said, go check out my latest videos. It has not been about anything happening with any YouTubers for real. Like, it has not been about anything happening with any YouTubers. At the end of the day, I make my channel about me. Okay? At that time, it was going viral. I jumped on the bandwagon. But... I'm not a drama channel, okay? Like, my channel is not just about drama. Like, as you guys can see, this video is a story time, okay? If you guys are subscribed to my channel, I have been posting vlogs, story time, literally me talking and presenting myself on camera. So how do I need to talk about you to have views? Like, it doesn't make sense. But I guess she tried to say something to hurt my feelings, but it did not work. Instead, it made me decide not to take that video down at all. At this point, I did not even care to tell her what the working out was. None of that. Like, I was just upset, right? Then she proceeded to tell me she would take this the legal route and all those things. I thought I was like, honestly, I'm not scared. If you're trying to scare me, it's not working. You're trying to hurt my feelings. Go check out my videos on my channel and you will see that. I'm not talking about anything related to YouTube drama at this point. I'm literally making my videos about me. And then she was like, yeah, I watched the side TV video where you were the side and you were dating somebody in a relationship. I'll include that video up here. I don't know if she thought by saying that it was going to hurt my feelings, but it did not hurt my feelings. Out of all the videos on my channel, that's the one you wanted to watch. And you wanted to tell me that you have watched. So I was like, exactly, my channel is about me. So I don't know why you're saying that I need to talk about you my channel to get views or to be relevant i also proceeded to tell her that i feel like the whole christian situation she was also trying to cloud chase by making multiple videos of her saying how chris made her fall for him and stuff like that we went back and forth for a couple more you know minutes i shall say and she was like all right so what should we work out at this point i do not want to work anything out i'm gonna leave that video up all right so i left her on red i did not reply then I go and check my email later on that night, and I see that someone reported those videos. Okay? And in the claim, it stated that, like, my videos will be taken down in a few days if I do not take it down, and my channel might also be affected. So I responded to the claim, and I was like, my video is not cyberbullying or anything like that. I was literally just giving my opinion on the situation that was happening on the internet. Like, I wasn't bad mouthing anybody i was literally just stating my opinion you know it has been like i said a few weeks now and the video is still up so the video was not taken down i'm sure she's mad i'm sure she's real salty so yeah guys thank you so much for watching this video that's the end of today's story time if you guys liked it don't forget to give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe down below it helps me a lot turn the notification bell on so you can get notified every single time i upload a new video also, follow me on my social media platform, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and TikTok. The link will be in the description box down below for your convenience. And yeah, you guys, I will catch you guys on my next one. Bye, guys.